What's going on, my YouTube family? How's everybody doing today? My beautiful little faces. Hope everybody's having a great day to start. I am that wood guy. All my new people joining the channel, thank you so much for your support. Everybody who's been here already, thank you so much for your support as always. And we are out here. Can't really say the sawmill shed anymore. Behind us, we have the equipment stored in the sawmill shed. As you guys seen in the video before, me moving the sawmill into a new location, which I think is gonna work out much better for what I'm trying to do around here. Having Big Bob, Little Bob, and Argy undercover is gonna make me feel a lot better, and I know they are greatly appreciating that as well. It's fall, it's wet, it's muddy. Little Bob's been on the job, but Big Bob's really been saving me around here with a real nasty wood yard that swallows up gravel. This used to be all graveled up, the gravel has just slowly worked itself down into the ground and I should have put the black mat down to start but I never did and years of material being processed on top is also what's added and contributed to this mess. Years of me being on YouTube here I've had a lot of questions and people asking do I sell green wood and I see you processing right into the trailer that's so nice for you to be able to do that. Do you have stored split piles? And absolutely not. I do not store split wood, my friends. It's all stored in log form. And in log form, it does season, believe it or not. It takes longer than if it was chunked and longer than if it was split. But each process opens up the wood and exposes it more to rot, just nasty environment, you know, with the rain and snow. And let's face it, I don't have a, you know, 500 by 500 infinity building to be able to store my firewood inside so i have to do what i can to preserve the wood the longest but also let it season come out here throw it up on the deck of the processor process it to order some woods clearly are more dry than others but i also deal with a lot of you know people who are very very familiar with how to burn a fire and that's not you know an excuse to sell green wood but by far it's not green wood these logs have been stored for at least six months, or maybe shorter in some cases, depending on the species again. But, you know, once again, my friends, this saves a lot of headache from me having stored, you know, split piles of wood, which I used to. And then that adds a step for me to have to load it into the trailer either by hand, because that would be the cleanest, or with a machine, and then you're fighting all the dirt and debris on the bottom. Can't make a concrete pit. I don't have, once again, this massive, you know, a bank account to make this concrete pad with uh, concrete walls to be able to you know split the wood into and then have to scoop it into the trailer again you know in, in theory again it adds another step wear and tear on my machines and fuel costs of just running the stuff to be able to get the wood back into the trailer now and it honestly makes it a little more dirty you know to be able to put the you know wood right up the conveyor into the dump trailer is a big uh, savings in not only the expense but it's also the you know, the headache of when your customers get a fresh dumped load of, you know, load of firewood, it doesn't have a bunch of garbage in it, you know, and stone and, you know, a bunch of material where people can use for garden boxes. <laughs> and, you know, with you guys seeing around here, things getting this messy in the fall time, I do throw the sawdust down, turns back to mud. I do make plenty of it, which just turns back to mud, as you can clearly see. And if you throw it on top of stone, it also does the same thing. You're just throwing, you know, that sawdust up on top. And as the years go on with the equipment, stop stampeding it down into the ground, it turns back into mud because, you know, when wood rots, it's dirt. So let alone the fact of keeping the material clean, it has benefited me doing it this way, taking my logs off of the log pile, cutting them in half because they're too long for the processor, and then which I pick them up with the forks and we bring them over to the processor. It saves so much headache of having to, at a step, loading the wood in the trailer by hand in the dump trailer, either throwing it in there or having to hook up the grapple and scoop into a pile with Big Bob. It's just adding more wear and tear, more cost, more time in the whole firewood world. And when you eliminate any sort of step like that, that's huge. Not only in the time, but the wear and tear and the time. <laughs> so basically, like you guys have seen for the couple of years of me on YouTube, I do not store split firewood. I store logs and I process to order. 
if I had a big, you know, covered bunker with, you know, a massive amount of storage, maybe it'd be a different thing. But once again, I'd really, would I kind of do it to add another step, you know, to have to load all this firewood into the trailer? It's just really not a beneficial thing, adding that step and cost, all that wear and tear. So I think it works out the best for me. And my customers have been very pleased for me using my best judgment of what wood is ready and what wood is not. Over the years of doing this stuff, my friends, has served me well and figured out that method all on my, my own to acquire an efficient setup and efficient rhythm to be able to move the firewood from point A to point B and get it to the customer's house.
there you have it, all loaded, nice and clean. There's no junk piled into the firewood. It's neatly laid in here. The stuff splits beautiful. That's how you do it, my friends. And who wants to sit there and handle a thousand face cords sitting there doing that into the trailer? Sometimes we don't have an option, but when you get to this stage of it, this is what works the best for me. Being able to just come off the processor right into the trailer. That is what works the best. Sawdust conveyor is still sitting there. <laughs> just needs to be finished up. And uh, you know my friends, logs, they, uh, they season and they last longer than leaving rounds on the ground. 